hurricane season currently underway, and we just saw Hurricane Barrel hit the Caribbean, Mexico, and parts of the U.S. South. These places are often popular travel destinations during the summer. Here to talk more on traveling during hurricane season, travel journalist Angel Castellanos, currently in Puerto Rico. Nice to see you, Angel. Good to be with you, Eric. Yeah, so here we are, hurricane season. We saw some of the damage that Barrel did. Uh, let's talk specifically about traveling to places that are known to have hurricanes, that are in hurricane areas. Uh, what are some uh, advice and tips that you have while people are preparing for their trip? Well, according to Allianz Partners USA, eight of the top 10 international destinations are in the Caribbean and in Mexico. So it's not like you can avoid some of these destinations. So definitely people should ask the hotel if they have a cancellation policy in case of hurricanes. Uh, I checked with this hotel and they definitely do have one in place. Another thing is to get that travel insurance. You know, the trip cancellation insurance, the cancel for any reason really gives people the ultimate coverage if they want peace of mind. And then I like to download a couple of apps on my phone myself. So there's one by the National Ocean and Atmospheric Association mm -hmm. and also the National Hurricane Center has an app as well as your airline app because your airline app will tell you, you know, if you need to switch flights or if there's severe weather coming. If you're worried about a hurricane potentially coming, you're already on the resort. Um, I'm assuming some of these uh, bigger resorts have plans in place, but is there anything people should keep in mind if they've already gotten there and uh, things start picking up? Well, you know, every resort has an evacuation and emergency plan, but there's so much lead time leading up to these hurricanes. You know, people on the East Coast, you know, know when hurricanes are coming two weeks in advance. So it would actually be pretty rare if you're on property during a hurricane, but be sure that you're going to be in safe hands for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're there in Puerto Rico. I, we just spoke to you last week. You were uh, in another location. You're all over the place, man. What, what, what's going yeah. on there in Puerto Rico? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the biggest party in the Caribbean. It's the 70th anniversary of the Pina Colada, which was developed right here at the Caribe Hilton. It's also the 75th anniversary of this particular property. So in years past, many dignitaries have come for this celebration, and this is just going to be a massive party. And this is the signature cocktail of this island and it was developed by this guy here right behind me but i'm on machito and it is just so good yeah mm. there's nothing like that says i'm on vacation in a tropical location as a uh, pina colada right you can only have oh, yeah. so many oh, of yeah. them but one is one is delicious enough yeah they're kind of sweet getting back to the travel uh, stuff here with the with the travel insurance uh is that something that people should really consider whether it's hurricane season or not just you know, I know I booked some travel the other day, and they always give me that option at the end, right? Like, hey, for 25 bucks this, 100 bucks that. It, it, it sounds like maybe a lot at the time, but it is pretty helpful if you should run into some issues, right? Right. You want to stay away from the type of insurance that you would book at the end of your flight because that's a kind of a limited travel insurance. So as your friend, I would advise you, because I know you travel so much, is to think about getting an annual policy. So if you're taking two or more trips a year, that policy will cover you once you leave your home mm. out of 100 mile radius, you know, and if you're definitely taking that big trip, that big anniversary, big honeymoon trip, get that coverage that includes trip cancellation, trip interruption, and cancel for any reason is a little bit more expensive. Okay. But then there's also the credit card insurance as well. So right. book all your travel through your credit card company. Yeah, that's a good idea as well. Okay, so we've only got about 40 seconds left here, but someone's thinking about doing a trip here, maybe to Puerto Rico or the Caribbean. What's kind of the first steps they have to take here? Uh, double check the weather and then uh, check, uh, book your hotels, you know, a classic hotel like this, you're not going to go wrong. And then the islands that aren't in the hurricane belt really are the ABC islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. You'll have ultimate peace of mind there. Awesome. Sounds good. Angel, always nice chatting with you. Where are you off to next? Yeah. I hope it's someplace nice. Believe it or not, I'm coming home to Southern California. <laughs> nice. I'm going to be in La Mesa. I'm going to be in La Mesa, there we you go. know, hanging with the family. So, yeah. All right. We'll, have to, we'll have to stop by and see you face-to-face. -face. You enjoy that pina colada there, sir. You oh, yeah. traveling. Yeah. You deserve it. All right. Stay with us, everyone. We'll take it a quick break. We'll be right back.